Fishing for calamari has become increasingly popular in Port Phillip Bay and around the Victorian coastline. Some anglers catch them for food, while others prefer them for bait. Regardless of their motivation, the booming calamari fishing effort has meant fisheries managers need to know more about them to ensure the fishery remains sustainable. So, commencing in 2012, we undertook a three-year study funded by Victorian Recreational Fishing Licence Fees to answer a range of questions. Where do calamari breed in Port Phillip Bay? What time of year is important for spawning? And what type of bottom habitat do they prefer for egg laying? We also looked at their movement patterns using acoustically tagged calamari caught from around the bay. So what were the results of our study? We found that two types of seagrass in particular, Amphibolus and Zostra species, were preferred by mature calamari for egg laying. The distribution of these seagrasses meant that certain areas of Port Phillip Bay are much more important for calamari breeding than others. Spawning habitats in the south and west of Port Phillip Bay are more critical to calamari reproduction than spawning habitats in the north and east. We also found that the southern and western areas of the bay, including Lonsdale Bight, Point Nepean, Queenscliff and St Leonard's contained more seagrass, which is the preferred bottom habitat for egg attachment. The northern spawning habitats in the bay were characterised by more seaweed, sponges and sea squirts and were typically home to smaller calamari and fewer egg clusters. These areas are likely to be more important for juvenile growth than for adult reproduction. We analysed reproductive organs too and found that calamari indeed do spawn throughout the year, with peak spawning occurring between spring and summer. To analyse the movement patterns of calamari, 40 were caught and tagged with electronic acoustic transmitters. 73 acoustic receivers or listening stations positioned around the bay at various depths detected any tagged calamari swimming past within a 400 metre radius. So what did we find? The maximum period a calamari stayed within the vicinity of a listening station was about 10 hours. One tagged calamari travelled 51 kilometres in the southern part of Port Phillip Bay over eight days, whereas another one travelled eight kilometres within a 24 hour period. We know calamari grow very rapidly, completing their life cycle in less than one year, but we didn't know that they exhibited movement patterns like these. This study confirmed that southern and western regions of Port Phillip Bay are particularly important during the spawning season and that individuals are capable of moving short and long distances. Although high catches from spawning aggregations can occur, their biology helps to replenish population numbers quickly. Thanks to this work, fisheries managers, scientists and now anglers have a better understanding of the population characteristics of calamari in the bay and are now able to make more informed decisions about keeping them a sustainable fishery that's enjoyed by so many. For more information, visit our website.